everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Paige Flam, for those of you who don't know me, and I create kind of like mommy lifestyle videos over here on this YouTube channel. Sometimes I film makeup tutorials, sometimes I film kind of like favorite videos or haul videos, sometimes we upload a family vlog every now and then. So subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so that you can stay up to date on all the latest randomness. In today's video, I am going to share with you some things that I got for girls camp. Girls camp is a thing that happens in our church where for one week during the summer, all the girls ages 12 to 17 go on girls camp and it's just kind of like a camping thing out in the middle of nowhere for an entire week. And I am one of the leaders that is helping with the rock climbing and ropes course at girls camp next week. And my husband and I had zero camping equipment and I found out that I needed quite a bit of camping stuff to go to girls camp. So I recently bought a bunch of stuff for that and I thought I would share it with you guys for anyone who might be a girls camp leader this summer or if you just need some ideas of cute camping things, then this video is for you. I'm kind of at the point in my life where I'm a little bit of a snob when it comes to just things that I own. I feel like I have so much stuff that I've accumulated over the years that I don't love. And so if I'm buying something, I want to invest in something that's cute, that's functional, and that I'm really going to like. And so that is kind of what I went with for everything for my girls camp haul. So without further ado, let's get into the video. The first thing that I needed for girls camp was a water bottle. And I have water bottles, but I wanted one that stayed, that kept the water and ice cold the entire time. So I got this rose gold water bottle. It looks just like this. It is super cute. Um, and it's called Iconic Classic 17 ounce stainless steel double insulated water bottle. It says that it keeps hot things hot for up to 12 hours and cold things cold for up to 24 hours. And Girls Camp is going to be in the middle of nowhere in Alabama in July. So I'm going to need something cold to drink and I thought this would be great. And everything that I'm showing in this video got on Amazon. I'll leave links to every single product in the description bar. And this water bottle, I believe, was less than $12. But Amazon prices change all the time. So if it's different when you click on the link, I'm sorry. The next thing that I got I'm really excited about, this is my sleeping bag. That's it. I will show you what it looks like. So like I said, Girls Camp is in Alabama, and it's going to be so hot. And I, we don't have any sleeping bags right now, but I didn't want to get a sleeping bag that was super heavy because I know I'm going to be sweating and there's no air conditioning in the cabins or anything and so I wanted to get something very light. This was $12 on Amazon and it is literally like tissue paper thin and it has that like insulated emergency blanket kind of stuff on the inside. I am going to bring one lightweight blanket to tuck inside here and I'll have pajamas on so I won't get cold by any means but I just did not want a heavy sleeping bag keeping me hot all night. So this just really easily folds back up and it rolls back up into this little bag and I will put that back in after the video. The next thing I got was a really simple flashlight. It just looks like this. I need to get batteries to put in it but our flashlight apparently had broken. I remember I texting my husband. He was downstairs when I was ordering all my stuff and I was like can I use a flashlight? And he was like well it's broken. So we have a flashlight now which is good because an emergency in our own house having a flashlight is always good. So um, this is just a nice, good, hefty, heavy one, but it's still small and can slip in my backpack, so I really like that. The next thing that we didn't have was a twin-size air mattress, and I kind of realized after I bought this that this isn't twin-size either. I got a kid-size um, air mattress. It looks like this, and it's like 5 feet 2 inches long, which is fine because I sleep with my knees bent anyway. And it came with a little green inflatable pillow, but this is what I will use to sleep on at girls' camp. I guess from what I've heard, everyone sleeps in a cabin. And then in the cabin, there's bunks, but the bunks are just like a board of wood on a bed that you kind of sleep on. So you need to put like an air mattress and a sleeping bag on top of the wood so that you feel soft and comfortable when you're sleeping. The next thing that I got was this cute beach towel. It is coral and white striped. It's really big. It's microfiber, which feels really nice. And it was only $9.99 on Amazon. All of our towels right now in our house are so disgusting because I have um, an acne face wash that I use and it takes all the color out of all of our towels. So half our towels are gray with like orangey bleach spots on it. So it looks really bad. So I got a nice clean new towel for girls camp so that I don't have to be embarrassed about the disgusting ones that we really have in our home. And the last thing that I got from Amazon for Girls Camp, I am super excited about. I finally got myself a pair of black Nikes. And I know some people are like, why the heck are you buying brand new shoes to bring camping? But I only have two pairs of exercise shoes right now. I have my ones that are for CrossFit that I specifically wear to CrossFit only. And they are really only functional, functional, functional. They're only functional in a gym setting. 
And then I have my running shoes, but I don't want to trash my running shoes at girls camp because I hold them very like sacred and near and dear to my heart. So I got these because I felt like they would be really great for just like hiking and stuff. And I'm going to be just like standing and doing the ropes course most of the day anyway. So I feel like these won't get too, too roughed up. And if they do, I'm really not that worried about it. But these were a great price. These were only $40 on Amazon. $40 for Nikes. Like black and white Nikes that everyone wants. $40. Bucks. So I will definitely leave a link for these in the, in the description bar below. If the price has changed, again, I'm sorry, but that is what the price was when I bought them. So that is it for this Girls Camp haul video. I do have a bunch of clothes that I ordered from Gap and Old Navy coming at the end of the week, so I'll probably do like a Girls Camp clothing haul video for you guys at the end of the week. Um, I didn't really get too much there, though. I just got some um, pants and shorts that would be good for like hiking and camping and then just some like v-neck t-shirts and stuff, but I'll be sure to film a video and show you guys what that all looks like when the time comes on Friday when it gets to my house. And yeah, if you guys are going to girls camp this year, let me know as a leader what some of the favorite things that you brought with you are. I'm looking for good ideas. I've never been to girls camp as like a young teenager and this is my first time going as a leader. So I kind of am just flying by the seat of my pants at this point. So let me know in the comments below what was helpful for you as a leader for girls camp or any um, church based summer camp program. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel for more videos and I will see you guys next time. Bye!